my name is Michael Koren. Um, I've been freelancing for Reuters since 1999 when I uh, left a major newspaper in Holland to join Reuters. And um, I've worked my way up to a freelancer uh, who gets to be a team photographer in uh, South Africa uh, for the Netherlands soccer team. They, they played a friendly against Hungary. And Arjen Robben came onto the pitch because obviously hadn't trained much after his uh, European Cup final. And they played him anyway, and uh, he was in super form, scored two goals, had a nice assist, and then he, he injured himself, a little, uh, tore a little hamstring, a little piece of his hamstring, and he was out. I found him in a tarmac where they offload cargo, and uh, many more photographers had sort of guessed when he was coming. They were all in the arrivals hall. So because I'm the team photographer, I know people, I got a little advantage and guessed right where he was going to be, and sure enough, he was there. He wasn't very pleased to see me. So they rushed into a police car was standing by and um, I got a really nice shot of him. Uh, look, look, training is the same thing every day. They warm up, they stretch a little bit, they joke around and you look for, basically you're looking for things that happen and you have to record that because all the newspapers in Holland, they send their own photographer, but their, their back net, if I say so, is always an agency and they know Reuters is very good on this. So if they miss it, they're going to say, oh, let's look if Reuter has it. So I'm not in the position of fooling around. I need to be on every story. If there's, a, like I said, if there's an argument, if there's an injury, a slight injury, which could uh, cause a player to pull back from the tournament, I have to have a picture, even if it's a boring picture. So I was very pleased when the Dutch team announced that they were going to open uh, a playground for um, children in, uh, in a not so nice neighborhood here in Johannesburg and Hilbro. And what I've heard later is that the player uh, all donated money, up to 100,000 euro, I believe. If, correct me if I'm wrong, but that's a lot of money. And uh, that's a really nice gesture. They gave the money to Johan Cruyff, who has the Johan Cruyff Foundation. And he founded the Orange Cruyff Court, which he has all over the world. Uh, it's a charity, a charity uh, thing he does. And they opened, a re they, the whole team came out. They played with all the kids. They had little teams to play with the children. A great photo opportunity. I have to say there is a bigger eye on the star players, on the key players, than on the lower, you know, the, the, the lesser players. I mean, they're all good, there are 11 of them, actually there are 23 of them. Generally speaking, we look out for the Schneiders, the Van Persies, the Robbins, the Van der Vaarts, Kuyt. Those are the big names in, the, in all the major leagues and, uh, abroad, and if they get injured, the home front wants to know, hey, what happened to our player? Is he injured? Can he play for us next season? Because then they don't care about the national Dutch team. They want to know if he's playing for Arsenal, Liverpool, Bayern Munich. Decided to pack three cameras, two Mark IVs and a Mark, uh, 5D Mark II. I think I have a 1635, 2470s, 24105, the new 70 to 200, which is outstanding lens. And I've got a 400 and a converter. You have to shoot at a higher uh, shutter speed. Uh, for soccer nowadays, it's at least a thousandth of a second. And fortunately here with this light it's possible that sometimes it's really bad lights so you have to you boost your ASA to three or four thousand ASA. In the back of the uh, Mark IV you have uh, some stars which are your favorite custom functions. I have about four or five which will come down to formatting, erasing, uh, using left and right or uh, 45 points. If I am in a portrait mode I shoot one person I use one dot only. Uh, if I'm shooting soccer I'll use the, the surrounding that's on one in some one button. I just that's one of my favorites. The, the light conditions are really hard here. You, you, there is only actually one way to shoot into the light, especially with the graphic sun, because we sh we have a training session at 11:30 most of the time, 11, which is when the sun is straight above you. And uh, so if they look down, you lose the face immediately. It's blurred. If you have to, you have to then do a lot of it on the computer. So. I, I tend to shoot for graphic shots, a little nice shadow lights, uh, and if it's necessary, straight into the light to get a good facial shot. Today I shot a really nice portrait of Wesley Snyder, who was doing an interview, and he had the backlit uh, head, shaven head, so it looked really nice into the face, no sunshine, sparkling eyes. Uh, nice, it's just it's something that came up, and then with a long lens you isolate him, so I can use that in a portrait. If I have a story about him this week, I can just pull the file shot and get a much better picture than when he is looking into the sun with his eyes closed, just like us. You know, we're there for the emergency. If someone gets injured, if someone does some, something really freaky, nice, laughter, joking, that's what we're looking for.